Hello! Today I'm going to show you a couple of Zippo letter tricks. Why would anybody want to learn Zippo tricks anyways nowadays? I mean, smoking's not cool anymore, but fire is. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a Zippo lighter. The second thing you need, you, you don't need anything else. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to show you three tricks. One of them, you'd probably be able to pick up on pretty easily. The other two, you might have to practice for a little while. Safety first. Mmm. Oh, that comes with shakes. The first trick I show you is going to be the one that you're probably going to be able to pick up on. It's called the ring light. The reason it's called the ring light is because you use your ring finger to both open the cap and light the lighter in one swift motion. Real fast. Use two knuckles to hold the bottom of the lighter. Make sure the hinge is aimed at your face. Put the Zippo in the cradle of your hand cup. Hold this, use that, boom. This trick actually holds the most utility. It's fast and it's slick. You can be like, draw, draw. If I'm moving too quickly, just remember, you can always rewind. The next trick I'm going to show you is more complex. It has a name, I believe. I've heard it's called wet panties. I have no idea why they would call it wet panties. Fuck! In this trick, you hold the zippo by the cap. Keep the hinge on the thumb side. You're going to use a whip motion to open up the zippo and then twirl it and light it. it kind of looks like this when it's done right. Mm. Ooh, feel better. This third and last trick I'm going to show you, it doesn't have a name as far as I know. It's really hard to patent Zippo tricking. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it the Amplimax. For this trick, you're also going to open it up from the cap, but the hinge is going to be towards your pinky this time. After that, there's some rotation and some twirling and shit like that. Let's just see how it goes. When it's done properly, it looks like this. So the three tricks we went over today were the ring light, the wet panties, and the Amplimax. So to develop a skill like this, yeah, it takes a lot of time and a lot of practice. You have way too much time on your hands. But I mean, really, you could say that to anybody that makes videos to put on the internet. Should have been obvious from the get-go, so I don't let them get me down. So I hope this video was a lot of fun for my fellow trickheads out there. Keep practicing, get slick, and I will see you later.